Hello everyone. This is what's my name? Okay. My name is Schmin Vader Absters378. That's my YouTube name. And today I will be showing you my Dib cosplay from Invader Zim. Dib Membrane cosplay. He's my favorite character from Invader Zim, so um I cosplayed as him. And so um so here it is. It looks like I'm resurrecting him, but I'm not. That's, I just wanted to lay it all out so it could be easier to show off. So, you go over here. So, uh, I will show you all the basics. So, here are his boots. Deb wears boots, but they use, his boots, they're not like this. Like These are buckles, and they have laces. These are like combat boots, which he doesn't wear. But these are the closest things I could find. Like, I've had these. Like, I've had these boots. And, um, because he usually wears, like, just regular boots that don't have anything on them. For some reason. And, um, he just wears them. And, um, but those kind of boots, you know, they're usually, like, you'll find them in, like, women's sizes. And they'll usually have a heel, which you don't want because he's a guy. So, these boots work, would work, too. They're dirty. And these books, these boots would work. And, uh, they're pretty good. They're comfy. And, uh, yeah, so these kind of boots. Mm. Then the easy part is the pants. He wears black pants. He doesn't wear black jeans, though. These are black jeans. But I wore black jeans because it was cold that day. And, um, you know, it's okay. But you can also wear black leggings, like what I'm wearing now. Um, those would work, too, because it, look, it looks like he is wearing black leggings. But it's okay. Either one would work. Like, black jeans or black leggings. It's fine, as long as it's black. Okay, so that's the easiest part, is the pants and the boots. The more harder part would be um, the shirt. Now, this shirt um, I, I did buy. I got it, I think it was Redbubble or Reddouble.com, I don't know. And um, it was like $25. And this is his iconic shirt, you know, with like the frowny face thing. So this was like a really, I thought it was a really good one, like, um, it's like the same color, it's like dark blue and this symbol, and, um, it was pretty good. What else? Um, okay, so you could, if you don't want to buy it, this was like $25, it's not that bad, but if you don't want to buy it, um, if you're that talented, you could just paint it, I think it would be easy to paint, um, but I didn't paint. And, um, it would also be, um, like, there's these things where it's, like, you iron them. So if you, like, print out a picture and you iron it onto, like, a blue shirt, you could do that. But I found those things to be kind of pricey, too. So if you're lazy like me, you can just buy it. I feel like it's better that way. But, um, if you don't want to, if you already have, like, an ironing kit, then do that. Like, just iron it onto a shirt and it'll work out um, but yeah this is like a size medium so and um, yes so next part would be his jacket so he wears a black trench coat which I do not have this is just like a regular black jacket actually this isn't the jacket I wore to the con I went to a convention with this and it was cold that day so I wore two jackets so I wore this jacket underneath the jacket I was wearing that one was a little longer and it had a better collar, so I wore that, but I don't have it right now. But this, this actually looks good too, like, even though it has buttons and zippers, people still recognize you, and, um, yeah, this is actually, I think I already said it was a girl's jacket, but, um, I recommend getting an actual black trench coat that maybe goes down to his knees, because in the show, it's a pretty long jacket, but he's like a little kid. So usually people who cosplay him, they're like older. So maybe cosplaying as teen dib. I recommend getting a longer jacket. I know this is a short jacket, but still, it's not that bad. Also, I recommend getting um, a collar that's like really high. Like a, like a vampire coat. And um, that's like way cooler so I recommend that too but this is still okay if you just have like a black jacket it's fine don't worry about it okay so those are his clothes you know you can just go as that you don't even if you want 
Okay, next part you have to be more creative about. Um, well, first off, here's his glasses. I got these, oops, I had got these at Dollar Tree, and I popped out the lenses, because I'm not blind, and, um, these aren't, like, circular as they should be, but these are the closest things I could find. I'm sure you could, um, just take, I wanted to take some black wire and just make it myself, but, you know, I was lazy, so I just thought, I'll just buy them. And these worked out pretty good, except now, like, um, I use a Sharpie to make them look black, because in the show, they're kind of like black glasses, but it kind of rubbed off. So, just use, maybe use paint. Yeah, if you want to use paint, that'll work too, but if you're really creative and you have, like, you know, black hard wire, you just make circles and um, make them glasses. And I feel like those work better. Like if you go on Google and you look up Dib Cosplay, you can like look at an example of black glasses that are like circular. Because these aren't as circular, but they worked out. They looked pretty good. And don't worry about these things, you know. This, these were, these were really good glasses. Like everyone knew who I was. And I don't wear glasses in real life. And these were comfortable, you know, just get them at Dollar Tree. And yeah, okay. So the next part was, um, I guess the hardest, but it was the most creative and surprisingly the most fun is creating the wig. So first off, you need a wig cap. This is my first time ever wearing a wig to a con. I know, right? Um, so I was like, what do I do? And people were like, do this. And I was like, okay. So first off, I'm wearing a black wig. So of course I got a black wig cap. And you just, you know, put your, if you're a girl, you just put your hair in a ponytail. Not a ponytail, but like a little bun. And you just suck it in and you put it in your hair. And that works. Okay, so the wig. This wig, um, it's just a black wig. Like a black emo wig. And it worked out pretty good. I got this wig at like a Halloween store around Halloween time. For this reason, I was, people were like, why are you getting a black wig? And I'm like, nothing, I just wanted it. But, um, yeah, so this is a black wig, and, um, what, okay, I said it was, um, no, I didn't say this yet. It was $18, I think, or it was 15 I don't know. Yeah, you could get them for, like, $15, so they're not that expensive, but you still have to pay for it. Um, and you don't have to go online to do it, you just go to, like, to a Halloween store, or just, like, Party City, or just, like, any, um, place with wigs, and I'm sure they'll have this. This is pretty good. So, um... This was the, okay, this was, in fact, the hardest part. I also didn't do a good job, so do a better job than me. What I did is I took a cardboard box, and it was a pretty sturdy box, and um, I outlined the shape. He wore, It's like a cowlick. To create his cowlick, this is what it is, like a scythe. Um, to do that, I just took a picture, and I just outlined it as best as I could. I am not an artist, so I was very surprised that I could do this. So even if you're not an artist, you can still do this because I did it. So you're going to be fine. So don't be nervous when you're like outlining it. You'll do a good job because I did a, an okay job. Okay, so I outlined it with um, cardboard and then I took a knife and I just, you know, cut it out very slowly and carefully and, um, and you want to make it big when you're first making it because you could like make it smaller later. So that's what I did. It was first really big, like this part was really tall. And you know, you put it on your head and you want it the size that you want. You can make it really tall kind of, but I recommend it being short. Um, especially when you're in a car and you're driving. It gets in the way a little bit. It, it was in the way a little bit, but it was okay. So, um... Yeah, so I outlined it, and I cut it out, and this was the size I wanted. So then I took black spray paint, I got it at Ace for like $5, so it's pretty cheap, and I sprayed it over grass outside, and then I left it out overnight. And actually a funny story is I showed this scythe thing to my dad, and I was like, Dad, look what I made, and he's like, oh, that's cool, and then I went back to college for a week and then I came back and because I wanted to make this so then I came back and I was like where is it and so I called my dad and he's like and I was like dad where did you put that where did you put that thing that I showed you and he's like 
oh yeah, um, I put it on, uh, I put it in the trash. And I'm like, you threw it away? And he's like, oh, I thought you were done with it. And I'm like, no, I didn't even use it yet. So thankfully he didn't throw the trash away. So, um, yeah, and it was fine. So that's just a funny side story. But, um, so then after I did that, I did not do a good job with spray paint. You can still see the cardboard part. It's kind of, it looks like these are numbers, I think, and symbols. So if you don't want it like that, use just like regular paint, I guess, because that's kind of thicker. But if you want to be lazy like me, just do black spray paint. And, um, also you um these are kind of rough edges you could totally tell it's cardboard so what i actually recommend is for you to um get another black wig and just glue little bits of it you know across like a long black wig and just glue it across the cardboard to make it look like real hair like this so that's what i recommend doing unless you're lazy like me you just want to make it black perfect that's fine so, um, yeah, so how I, how I put it on was, it was easy, you know, you can do it. So what I did, where is it? Okay, so I took the inside of the wig, as you can tell, and I stabbed the wig to where I wanted it, like you measure it on your head. You don't stab it while you're wearing it, but you take it off, and you want it where you want it, like, you kind of want it near the front, like that. We kind of want it on top. Make sure it's in the netting of the um, wig. You stab it, and then you fit the scythe in the wig, and you get it to the right size that you want, and then you super glue it like crazy. That's all you do. You just super glue it like, I'd super glue it like five times, I think, and it stayed on really well. Like, you shake it, stuff, it will not come off, but unless you wanted it to. But I think this is just, I won't use this wig anything else for except dib. So, if you're okay with, um, glue in your wig, that's great. Also, if it's too much, like, if it's gonna, like, bother you, just, you can just cut off, oops, you can just cut off parts of the wig, like, just shave it down, I guess, if it's uncomfortable. But this one was pretty comfortable, so, yeah. Also, as you can tell on the site, there's, like, little cricks, you know, just smooth that out, I guess, just filing it down to make it look sleeker. But... Yes, I think it w I did an okay job, um, and little hairs stuck up, so I put bobby pins in them, so just like two or three bobby pins if it's sticking up, and um, yeah, so just stab it, and put glue in it, and it'll stay on, and voila, you have a dip wig, and it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's basically it. This is the hardest part. This is the most expensive part, the shirt. And for the extra, I think I got this for like $5 at Hot Topic. Um, get a little Zim if no one's cosplaying with you as Zim. But, um, yeah, he's a good extra. When you're taking pictures, you can just be like, Ooh, I'm gonna get him. I hate him so much. Unless you ship Zeta, you can be like, I love him so much. Or Zeta, you can be like, he's my friend. But, uh, yeah, he's so cute. I wear, I put him on my purse and people are like, is that Zoom? And I'm like, yes. So, yeah, I carried him around. So this is the Dib Membrane cosplay. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe, you know, because I want to make this channel a lot bigger. Um, I think for Christmas I'm getting a microphone so um, I can make, like, little commentaries. And also, I will keep you all updated about the Invader Zim movie coming out, I think, next year. So, um, yeah. Also, as you can tell, I'm doing this in my college dorm because my roommate's not here today. So I was like, okay, I'll do this video today. On her barging in, she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. I'm resurrecting him. He's coming back. No. Um, if, you, if I can do it, you can do it pretty much because no, I don't do this that much. But, um, yeah. Go to a con, have fun. You can be a boy or a girl, doesn't matter. In this cosplay, it's still great. This is what it looks like from above. I'm kind of tall, so yeah. So it looks pretty good. And good luck, everyone. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. And good luck, everyone, with it. So thanks for watching, and. See you guys next time.